to Middle Ground Media, where news is delivered without an agenda. In today's coverage, Segment 1, Jeff Bezos's Multi-Billion Dollar Amazon Share Sale Jeff Bezos, the tech mogul and founder of Amazon, has recently liquidated over $4 billion worth of his Amazon shares, marking a significant transaction for one of the richest individuals on the planet. This sale comes as part of a larger plan announced earlier, aiming to sell about 50 million shares within a year, totaling approximately $8.4 billion at current market values. Bezos's move to Miami, Florida, from Seattle, Washington, has sparked discussions around the potential tax savings. He stands to gain due to Florida's lack of state taxes on income and capital gains, in contrast to Washington's 7% tax on gains exceeding $250,000. Despite this, Bezos will still face federal taxes. His relocation to Miami, a city he professes to love and where he spent part of his childhood, also positions him closer to his space venture, Blue Origin, emphasizing a blend of personal and business motivations behind his decision. Bezos remains Amazon's largest shareholder, with a fortune surpassing $190 billion, highlighting the enduring impact of his leadership and vision in shaping the e-commerce giant since its inception in 1994. Segment 2, NATO's Unity and Trump's Controversial Remarks In the face of former U.S. President Donald Trump's recent comments threatening to withdraw support from NATO members, not meeting their spending commitments, Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie has emphasized NATO's unity. Despite Canada, along with other members, falling short of the 2% GDP defense spending target, Jolie affirmed the alliance's importance for collective security. Trump's stance, suggesting encouragement of Russian aggression towards non-compliant NATO members, has stirred a mix of criticism and concern among global leaders, including German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who labeled Trump's words as irresponsible and dangerous. This has reignited discussions on NATO's foundational principle of collective defense under Article 5, and the necessity for member countries to contribute adequately to their defense spending. The ongoing dialogue reflects the complex dynamics within NATO, and the challenges of balancing national interests with collective security obligations amidst geopolitical tensions. Segment 3, Ukraine's Claim of Russia's Hypersonic Missile Use Ukraine has claimed that Russia utilized a new hypersonic missile, the Zircon, for the first time in combat, marking a potentially significant escalation in the ongoing conflict. This assertion is based on the analysis of missile fragments, suggesting a step-up in Russia's air campaign against Ukrainian military and civilian infrastructure. The Zircon missile, reputed for its speed and capability to evade advanced missile defenses like the US-designed Patriot system, poses a formidable challenge to Ukraine's air defenses. Russia's deployment of such sophisticated weaponry underscores the intensifying arms race, and the continuous evolution of military tactics and technologies in the conflict. The implications of the Zircon missile's use in combat extend beyond the immediate tactical advantages, highlighting the broader strategic shifts and the pressing need for advancements in defense capabilities to counteract emerging threats. Segment for Cairo Negotiations Aim for Gaza Conflict Resolution In Cairo, negotiators from Israel, Hamas, the United States, Qatar, and Egypt have convened with the hope of reaching an agreement to temporarily halt the ongoing conflict in Gaza. Amidst rising international concerns over a potential Israeli ground offensive in Rafah, the talks, although promising, have yet to yield a close deal. Central to the discussions is the disparity in the number of Palestinians Israel would release in exchange for hostages held by Hamas. The negotiations are a critical effort to address not only the immediate humanitarian crisis but also the larger political and security dynamics at play in the region. The outcome of these talks could have significant implications for the future of Israeli-Palestinian relations and the broader Middle East peace process. Segment 5, Global Warming's Impact on Greenland a recent study highlights the dramatic transformation of Greenland's landscape due to global warming, with significant portions of its ice sheet melting away to reveal new wetlands, shrub vegetation, and barren rock. This environmental shift, covering an area nine times the size of Rhode Island, underscores the urgent challenges posed by climate change. The greening of Greenland, while illustrating the adaptability of nature, raises serious concerns about the stability of the landscape, the acceleration of sea level rise, and increased greenhouse gas emissions from methane-producing wetlands. 
This development serves as a stark reminder of the global consequences of climate change, necessitating concerted efforts to mitigate its impacts and adapt to its inevitable changes. Segment 6, Passengers' Death on Royal Caribbean's Ultimate World Cruise The Ultimate World Cruise by Royal Caribbean, a nine-month voyage across the globe, has been marred by the unfortunate death of a guest aboard the Serenade of the Seas. Details surrounding the passengers' death remain scarce, with the company focusing on providing support to the bereaved family while respecting their privacy. This incident has brought attention to the challenges and realities of extended sea voyages, where the closed environment of a cruise ship necessitates comprehensive medical and emergency planning to ensure the safety and well-being of all passengers. The cruise, notable for its ambitious itinerary covering all seven continents, continues to generate significant interest and discussion about the evolving nature of travel and the importance of preparedness for all eventualities. Segment 7, Sexual Assault Charges Against School Resource Officer in Pennsylvania Jordan Jones, a school resource officer in Pennsylvania, has been charged with serious offenses including institutional sexual assault, endangering the welfare of children, and corruption of minors. Allegations have surfaced involving a sexual relationship with a 17-year-old student at Abington Senior High School, raising grave concerns about the abuse of power and trust vested in positions of authority within educational settings. This incident underscores the critical need for stringent vetting, ongoing oversight, and robust mechanisms to protect students from potential abuse. It also highlights the broader societal challenge of ensuring that schools remain safe environments conducive to learning and growth, free from exploitation and harm. Segment 8, Greece's historic move towards legalizing same-sex marriage. Greece stands on the cusp of making history by potentially becoming the first Orthodox Christian country to legalize same-sex marriage, marking a significant milestone in the fight for LGBTQ rights. The proposed legislation, expected to pass with cross-party support, represents a major advance for gay couples in Greece, particularly those with or planning to have children. This development reflects a broader shift in societal attitudes towards inclusivity and equality despite opposition from traditionalist segments of society, including the Orthodox Church. The move towards legalizing same-sex marriage in Greece underscores the ongoing global struggle for LGBTQ rights and the importance of legal recognition in safeguarding these rights. Segment 9, Indian Farmers March to New Delhi over Crop Price Guarantees Indian farmers have once again taken to the streets, clashing with police as they march towards New Delhi to demand guaranteed prices for their crops. This protest, reminiscent of the 2021 demonstrations against controversial agriculture laws, highlights the persistent struggles faced by farmers in securing fair compensation for their produce. The use of tear gas and the detention of some protesters by police underscore the tensions between the agricultural community and the government, as farmers press for legislative action to ensure a minimum support price for all farm produce. The demonstration underscores the broader challenges of agricultural sustainability, economic equity, and the right to peaceful protest in the pursuit of policy change. Thank you for tuning into Middle Ground Media. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more unbiased news. Join us again tomorrow for your daily dose of truth and clarity.